Canada's threat to reciprocate on new U.S. import tariffs could even extend to something as benign as maple syrup. It is just the latest example of entrenchment between the U.S. and some of its top trading partners. Correspondent Kevin Cork has more tonight from the White House. These tariffs, they're purely defensive in nature. They're designed basically to bring these industries back to life. And guess what? From day one, those tariffs were announced. They're working. Working, say White House officials, to restore American commerce and enhance U.S. national security. Indeed, the president's Twitter feed has consistently assailed the, quote, unfairness of the tariffs, adding defiantly, by the time I finish trade talks, that will change. Massive trade deficits no longer. The United States has the world's largest trade deficit. It's been that way since 1975, with an $811.2 billion gap in 2017 alone. Nearly half of that, $375 billion, thanks to China. But from the United Kingdom to Beijing, from Ottawa to Mexico City, the tough talk on tariffs is sparking fears that a global trade war is imminent. Today, British Prime Minister Theresa May told President Trump in a phone call that U.S. tariffs on EU steel were unjustified and deeply disappointing. Mexico filed a complaint against the U.S. with the World Trade Organization. China warned that increased tariffs would force it to renege on a promise to reduce its trade surplus. And Canadian officials, stung by new fees on steel and aluminum due to national security concerns, have proposed $16 billion in retaliatory tariffs. The idea that we are somehow a national security threat to the United States is quite frankly insulting and unacceptable. Some experts think the president's strategy is well-intentioned, but goes a bit too far. In some respects, the president is right, but the answer to that is not to throw up barriers on our side. It's to work to expand access abroad and lower tariffs uh, across the globe. House Speaker Paul Ryan's made no secret of his opposition to the new tariffs, while House Majority Leader Kevin McCarthy says the president is merely standing up for free and fair trade, a contentious debate likely to get only hotter at the G7 later this week. Shannon? Kevin Cork at the White House. Thank you, Kevin.